Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 8 a.m. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Splash. It's 8 a.m. and none of the cats are out of bed except for Boo. It's 8.45 a.m. and there's Hydrox. He came out of his shelter and now he's sitting in the sun by the other shelter. It's good that he gets out and gets some sunshine, some exercise. It's 9.15 and I am getting ready for my day and I just thought I would show you what my mornings have become. So here's Boo. I moved his arch over here because I was cleaning out his room. He's sitting here watching nature videos. He's watching squirrels and birds. He loves to do that in the morning. And here's Stella on top of the cat tower. The cats want me to open this window every morning so they can smell the air outside. So that's what I do. I shut off the heat and I open this window so they can take a sniff. Simba's laying on the bed waiting his turn. He's the one that usually runs up to the top of the cat tower the minute I open the window. But he says he, he's okay sitting here and smelling it from here. They like to know what's going on outside and they can know a lot by smell, right Simba? Right Stella? Stella says yeah, she could tell who's around by what she smells. She could also tell who's been around overnight by what she smells. Cats have a very good sense of smell. I also open one of the front windows for the cats and there's Boo right now. He's getting a whiff of air while he's watching his videos. There's Splash. He's getting his smells in. How you doing, Splash? Good morning, Hydrox. Good morning, Ditto. How you guys doing today? I just finished the cat chores. The only thing I have left is to actually feed the cats. These wires are for um, the live stream camera. One of them is, and then the other one is for another camera that I have out here. How you doing, Hydrox? How you doing? How you doing, Ditto? Ditto wants to be friends, he just doesn't really know how. How you doing, Ditto? How you doing? I just gave Hydrox and Ditto some food. There's two plates of food, but they are choosing to share one plate. They're getting uh, Stella and Chewy's raw rabbit patty uh, that I crushed up for them. And I added some of the bone broth that I made uh, yesterday. And I also added half of a can of food uh, because, I only had, because I only had one of the raw patties defrosted. And I wanted to make sure there's enough food for two cats, and there is. So there goes Hydrox, and I hope they eat their food. I probably put like a teaspoon of the fat that was on the bone broth. Um, I mix that into the food, so that's good. They're gonna get some extra fat in their diet. If they ate all that, I could put some more canned food together for them. It's 10.30 and Hydrox ate all of his food and both of the plates are clean. The other one is down on the patio, they moved it. So I'm gonna give him some canned food now. Okay, Hydrox. Hydrox has a very good appetite. I just gave him half of a can. Hydrox has been eating one very big meal a day and that's the schedule that he really likes. So here's Ditto. Okay, Ditto. Headbutt, <laughs> he just headbutted Hydrox. Hi, Ditto, I'll give you some food on the other plate, okay? Okay, guys. I just put half a can of food on both plates. This is a 5.5 ounce can of food. And putting rocks around these plates really helps uh, keep them in place. And even if uh, things get a little windy, uh, the rocks have been helping to keep the plates in place. And the cats don't seem to mind. But for some reason, they like sharing. 
they're both eating their food. Sometimes it takes Ditto a little while to kind of settle down because he gets excited about things. But now they're both eating very peacefully together. It's 12.30 p.m. and look at this. Look at this. It's Stella and Simba laying on the bed together. Usually it's Stella and Splash, but today it's Simba. Both of her boys love their mommy. Simba is Stella's son. Stella is Simba's mommy. They look so comfortable. It makes me want to lay on the bed with them. And here's Boo, he's on the cat tower. Hello, babies. It's about 9.30 a.m. and here's Stella. She just tapped me on the shoulder because I was responding to an email and I was not in the best mood when I was responding to the email because I was dealing with like ridiculousness. And Stella tapped me on the shoulder because she was like, come on, get away from that. Come play with the cats, right Stella? And I've noticed that she does that recently. So for the past few days, she's done that. So if I'm on my computer, if I'm responding to an email or a message and I'm like kind of angry or if I am just, you know, not in the most positive mood, Stella will show up and she'll tap me. Like she literally, it feels like a person's tapping me. She'll be like, she'll give me two little taps, like someone would tap you on the shoulder. And then I turn around and there's Stella. Sometimes she's on her hind legs doing it, depending on where I'm sitting. And I'm like, oh, okay, Stella. And she kind of distracts me away from it, right, Stella? Stella says she's doing it for my own good because, you know, I shouldn't spend so much time staring at screens. And I should spend less time in front of computers and um, tablets and phones and all that technological stuff. She says she doesn't like it. She says I need to spend more time out in nature and more time with her and the rest of the cats. Okay, Stella, I agree with you. Okay? Just keep reminding me of that, okay? Stella, that's one of your new jobs, okay? Your new job is to make sure that I'm not spending too much time looking at screens. Thank you, Stella. It's 8.52 a.m. Look at Stella. She's decided that this turbo scratcher is a cat bed. She's gonna lay in it. There's nothing in the middle of it, so with this turbo scratcher, the middle uh, section, um, you could change it. Like you could put a little scratching area in it. And I had cat grass in there and I'm in the process of growing more cat grass, which is why there's nothing in the middle of this right now. <laughs> but Stella has decided she's just going to lay in it. She doesn't fit, but she's going to lay in it. Stella, that can't be comfortable. <laughs> See? See how it's empty? It's just a little bit of dried uh, blades of grass from when I had the grass in there. I'll have more grass in there in a few days once it starts growing again. It is 10, 11 a.m. and I just gave Hydrox and Ditto some food. They're having some Stella and Chewy's raw rabbit patties. And when I was out there, I just hung around the plates after I put them down and I pet Ditto. I was petting Ditto while he was eating and he was purring. So he enjoyed that and Hydrox was sitting near him, like right next to him. And Hydrox was just like looking at me. So I tried to pet Hydrox's back, but then he backed away. And it's really cold out and I wasn't wearing a jacket or anything, so I just came inside. I have found that in the winter, if I'm wearing a big coat, sometimes it scares the cats. It's 10.38 a.m. and look at Stella. Stella's hunting birds on the television. She's trying to look behind the television. 
Here's somebody's hanging out on the cat tower by the window and I just saw something outside that I've never seen before. Here's the grass in the yard. I know there's a little bit of a reflection on the window. But look, you can see the wildlife trail in the grass. Do you see the trail? Here's the trail and it goes down here. I see it? The trail? So the animals are coming out of the woods and they're following that trail across the lawn and then they're going to go through some bushes and then they're going to go along to the back of the house. That's pretty wild. That means there's enough animals using that trail that you could actually see it. It's 11.15 a.m. and look at what's going on here. Hijax and Ditto are sharing the doormat by the back door. They're sitting in the sun. How you doing, Ditto? You're hanging out with Hydrox? You guys are just getting some sun? I think they want more food. They've already had two plates of food, but they're kind of doing the one giant meal a day thing. Okay. I mean, that does kind of make sense when you have a cat living in the wild because, you know, if they kill a bird, usually they're going to eat the whole bird and then they won't eat again that day. So... Looks like the plates have blown away, so I'm going to go grab another can of food. It's 2 p.m. and look at what's going on here. So that is Ditto. He's hanging out by the back door. He's hanging out on this doormat, but I guess he likes it because of the sun. It's really nice and warm and cozy in the sun right now. I just split up a 5.5 ounce can of food and I put half on each plate. And there's Ditto, and Hydrox went over and he's eating it right away. And here's Boo. Boo's been laying on his day sofa, right Boo? Yeah. Right Boo? How you doing Boo? Boo loves the day sofa. It is super comfortable, especially right now, like when the sun is shining on this room, right Boo? It is so nice to lay in the sun. Yesterday I was laying here on this day sofa and it's really comfortable. Once I laid down, it was like I did not want to move and get up. And Stella came and she laid on top of me for a little while and then she left. I think I got up um, for a few minutes. Then I sat down again and then Boo came over and he had to lay with me for a while. It is so comfortable. That's why I don't really want to sit or lay on it today because... It's really hard to get up once you lay on it, right Boo? Right Boo? It's so comfortable. And let me show you what's going on in here. Here's Stella and Simba. They're hanging out together today. They've been getting really cozy with each other recently, right Stella? Right Stella? You love your boy Simba. Where's Splash? I wonder where Splash is. He usually hangs out also. I don't know where he is today. Look how beautiful you are, Stella. You're a beautiful girl. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.